Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another wonderful Wednesday with Mrs. Wilson. And we have Shy Ann here. I thought she'd like to have a book read to her this morning. She's got a little boo-boo on her nose. She's always knocking herself. So this is called Hey Grand Dude. I had to take the jacket off because it was hard to um, share with you the pictures. So these are postcards and right here is Grand Dude. And these are his four grandchildren who he takes on marvelous trips. So here we go. Hey Grand Dude, written by Paul McCartney, illustrated by Katherine Durst. I love these illustrations. And if you know me, my illustrations are the favorite for me. Lucy and Tom and Em and Bob are spending a weekend with their granddad. Today was one of those days when nothing felt quite right. Cheer up, chillers, said Grand Dude, and he pulled out a pile of postcards from the back pocket of his trousers. Look at these. So there are his four grandchildren. Her grandparents' house, this looks pretty cool. M picked out a postcard of a sandy beach and sparkling blue waters. I wish we could go there, Grand Dude, she said. Well, let's see what we can do. Grand Dude reached into his coat pocket and took out a shiny compass. He gave the compass a rub and waved it over the postcard. The needle started to spin around and around and around. Then in a flash of magic, Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. The children were standing on a golden beach with little waves tickling their toes. The water felt beautifully cool. We're on the beach from the postcard, Bob laughed as he splashed in the sea. But the magic compass hadn't finished yet. Huge flying fish leapt from the sea. Hey, Grandu, they called. It's the school of flying fish, said Grand Dude. Come on, chillers, let's go for a ride. A school, whispered Lucy. I hope we don't have to do any homework. That was kind of funny, wasn't it, Shiny? Are you enjoying the book? They skimmed across shimmering blue waves on the backs of the flying fish before coming to rest again on the hot sand. They built sand ca castles and they lay beneath a coconut tree eating ice cream. The memory of their gray, grumpy day was completely washed away and they were perfectly happy until... Ouch! cried Bob. A little crab scuttled across the beach. The crab pinched his toe. Ooh, I bet you that hurt. Oh no, suddenly lots of little crabs were scurrying out of the sea, heading straight toward Grand Dude and the children. Hey, Grand Dude, said Em, em can we go somewhere a little less pinchy? Yes, I think we'd better hop to it, said Grand Dude. He quickly waved his magic compass over another postcard. This one had a picture of a cowboy. The compass needle spin, let the magic fun begin. The magic flash and sparkled, and once again, <gasps> Let's see where they end up this time. Oh, sorry. Bump your nose. Zing, bang, sizzle. Everything changed. Grand Dude and the children found themselves in a desert valley with spiky green cactuses. A cowboy galloped toward them on a spotted, beautiful spotted horse. Hey, Grand Dude, called the cowboy, waving his hat in the air. Wow, what a handsome Appaloosa said Grand Dude, admiring the horse. Appaloosa? asked Em. No, that's the kind of horse it is. It has nothing to do with me, said Lucy. Appaloosa. You'd be considered an Appaloosa, but not really. Grand Dude gave a whistle and five more horses came galloping up. He helped, he helped each of the children onto a horse and they raced together through the valley. Whee! cried Bob. Faster! yelled Lucy. 
But what was the cloud of dust on the horizon? Oh, Noah heard a wild buffalo was rushing straight towards them. The canyon echoed with the sound of a hundred hooves. Before they could ride to safety, Tom's horse reared and he tumbled to the ground. Hold on, Tom, shouted Grand Dude, snatching a rope from the cowboy's saddle. With a twirl, he lassoed Tom and hauled him onto his horse. Ride, chillers, cried Grand Dude, as fast as you can. Ah, uh, Grand Dude saved him, didn't he? They cleared the stampede just in time. Hey, Grand Dude, panted Tom. Perhaps we should go somewhere a little less stampy. Yes, good idea, said Grand Dude, and I think I need to cool down. Once again, he whipped up his magic compass and waved it over a postcard. See the compass needle spin? Let the magic fun begin. Before the children could see the picture, magic sparkled and flashed in the blink, in the blink of an eye. Zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. They found themselves high on a hill in the afternoon sun. The children laughed as they rolled in sweet-smelling wildflowers that seemed to stretch forever. Grand Dude pulled out his trusty guitar and began strumming a stomp song. Hey, Grand Dude, mooed some friendly cows, their bells tinkling along to the tune. Grand Dude drew a small telescope from his pocket, and they took turns looking in a snow-capped peak. But they heard, soon heard a rumbling sound. Oh, oh no, what was that? Oh, rumbling snow. Mm, I hope it's not an avalanche. Oh no, hey Grand Dude, look, yelled Lucy as she peered through the telescope. A huge wall of snow was sliding down from the mountains above. Avalanche! Quick chillers, cried Grand Dude, jump! I hope they run to safety. Just before the wave of snow reached them, Grand Dude and the children leapt onto one of the cows. Up, cow, up, Grand Dude cried. Magic swirled from the compass, lifting them all higher and higher off the ground, sailing them safely through the sky with the sea of snow rushing beneath them. Swiss cows are exceptionally good flyers, said Grand Dude. That's pretty funny right there. Right, Shiny? Now riding a flying cow is a lot of fun, but it had been a very long day. Hey, Grand Dude, said Lucy with a yawn. Maybe we could go somewhere a little more sleepy, said Grand Dude with a chuckle. That sounds like a very good idea. This time, instead of a postcard, Granddad pulled a photograph of his own house from his pocket. Magic compass, one more spin. It's time for bedtime to begin. He waved his compass over it, making the magic sparkle and spin. And just like that, zing, bang, sizzle, they were back in Grand Dude's living room. And the compass hadn't finished yet. With a final flash of magic, the children were changed and ready for bed. Their teeth were brushed, their faces were washed, and they all were tucked up tight. And in five minutes, Tom and Bob and Lucy and Em were fast asleep. Dreaming of their next adventures. Good night, Grand Dude. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our book. I think I put Cheyenne to sleep. Hope to see you next time. Love you all.